Welcome back to Unwrap, where we're going way down south to find some southern specialties. We say we head to North Carolina to learn about an old-fashioned drink. It's a soft drink called cheer wine. Let's find out exactly how they make this bubbly cherry concoction, named for its burgundy red color. Down south, cheer wine is a name that locals know well. We certainly are a part of the fabric of the South. In the Salisbury area, we average about 150 bottles per person per year. Those high numbers are no surprise for some, considering the sparkling beverage has been around for almost 90 years. Cheer wine started in Salisbury, North Carolina in 1917. It was a brand created by my great-grandfather, L.D. Peeler. Cheer wine was always invented to be a soft drink. It's uh, never had any wine in it. Okay, so then how did it get the name Cheer Wine? In 1917, soft drinks were being named for what they looked like. Cheer wine looked like wine. Root beer looked like beer. Ginger ale looked like ale. It made sense then, so hence Cheer Wine. If Cheer Wine is zero wine, a little cheer, and all soda, what does it taste like? To describe the taste of cheer wine is not easy because it is very unique. It is primarily the wild cherry flavor that we manufacture. That is our secret. In the cheer wine labs, they test the age-old cherry secret to ensure a consistent flavor. Then, it's on to production. We start with flavor, which is in concentrated form. That flavor is added to water and corn syrup blended together to make a syrup. The syrup then is blended with more water and carbonated before it goes into the bottle or the can. During Cheerwine's century in production, its sales numbers have soared, thanks in part to advancing technology. On the canning line, we're running about 80 cases a minute. Back in 1917, you could do about 100 cases a day. Now Cheer Wine sells over 100 million cans of soda per year, primarily to its die-hard Southern fans. 